all of them. Uh, we come to the financial account in uh, four. This video, what to look at the preparation of data control. Uh, remember, data control uh, is an account that is prepared to manage data sales of a business. So you see that um, the amount uh, that we are going to calculate in the uh, data control is uh, a representation uh, of the credit sales that we have in the business. Remember, uh, to get our total sales, we are going to say cash sales plus credit sales. So on the data control, we are only concentrating on the uh, credit sales. So uh, this is our question, and it reads, uh, M. Conti, the owner of uh, Vocos Traders, provided the following 4,000 subsidiary donors. We are given the balances on date September 2017, where we have the data control balance, 60,175 rands, and then we have the credit as control balance, which is 5,850 rands. Then uh, we are given a cash receipt donor uh, of Vocos Traders, that is on date September 2017, and then we are also given a cash payment journal of focus traders that is on September on September 2017. So um, this is the information that we are given. So if you go down the question, uh, you see that we are also given uh, the data uh, journal uh, balances in terms of our uh, sales, and then we have got cost of sales. And then uh, we go down again, and we are given data allowances, uh, amounts in terms of data allowance, uh, data allowance, and then cost of sales. And then we are, we are given the information for the credit cash journal. And lastly, we have got information for the general journal. So the question reads, uh, complete, uh, complete the data control account in the answer book. So you see that we have got our, our data control that has been prepared uh, according to this video. So if we come here to the next page, So you would see that this is our data control, and uh, we are obviously going to start with our open balance, uh, which is going to be our balance BD, which is obviously going to be on the debit side. So we have our balance BD on the debit uh, side. And then uh, we go back to check in terms of the day of that uh, balance BD and then the amount. So if you go back to the question, you'll see that that balance we are given it at the beginning of the question. So we can go up to check that balance. So we see that the balance that we have is, is our open balance is 16,175. So this is uh, the balance that we have. So our balance BT is going to be uh, 16,175. So we can just record put that balance uh, is our open balance, we use 16,175. Then on the date again, we can try to see uh, which date we have. Remember, uh, the date that you are given there uh, is that uh, this will for date September 2017. So if you go down uh, in the question to see uh, what exactly is the question saying, uh, we are seeing that it's saying I complete the data uh, control uh, account in the answer book, and uh, uh, this is uh, at the beginning of the period. Remember, all opening balance, all opening balances will be at the beginning of the period. So, uh, remember, we are in 2070, so it means that uh, on the first day is where we are going to have our date. So, we go back there. Uh, we are saying uh, on date uh, it's 2070, 2017, uh, and uh, we can just uh, leave it as such. And then uh, on the day, uh, the day obviously is going to be, it's going to be one. So we are going to put our day as one. Then on document number, we can leave it blank. Then uh, the next item, we are going to pick items that are supposed to be on the debit and what is supposed to be on the credit. Remember, uh, I will say that data control is a representation of our credit sales. So whenever we have our credit sales, uh, we are going to debit our data control. But when the data pay those amounts, uh, the, uh, that is the, the amount that they are owing, we, we now end on the credit side as our bank. So uh, this is uh, what we have. But when we sell, we are supposed to take it. So uh, in terms of uh, any reduction of the uh, credit, credit sales amount, they are supposed to end on the credit side. Or for instance, if there are returns in form of the data allowances, they are supposed to uh, end on the credit side. So we are just going to pick those figures as such. So if you come back uh, for the question, we are just trying to pick uh, those uh, figures. Uh, we can go back uh, at the beginning of the question. 
uh, you see that information that we are given starting from cash receipts to now. Uh, you would see that uh, we were given a uh, bank the end of 2,967, and then we are given sales 9,375. Then out of the sales, uh, we are we are being told that uh, the debtors control, uh, the debtors control amount uh, that we are given there is 4,500. So uh, this is uh, the figure that we are given here. So it means uh, we are going to pick uh, the figure that we have for debtors control, and uh put it in the uh and put it in the in the data control in the in the data control account so we are we are picking 4500 it means this is a payment that has taken place so it's going to reduce the amount of sales that we have so we are going to go to the opposite side that is going to site and enter it as our as our bank so um we go there and we go to the credit side that we are saying uh, on the credit side, our details we are saying bank. Uh, is bank and discount allowed? Bank and discount allowed. And the amount that we are using there, uh, is four thousand five hundred. Means uh, we are going to put our four thousand five hundred in this column. And remember, our date uh, is 2070. Uh, 2070. And the day is uh, obviously at the end of the period, which is 30. So we are going to put our date in. So uh, this is what we have. Then we go back again to check what other transactions that we are getting. So uh, next, we go to the cash payments journal, uh, whereby we are having uh, in the data control column, we are having 450. So it means we are just going to pick uh, this. Uh, 450 and we are going to uh, uh, post it to the uh, data control but uh, when the data when we are picking the data control column in the uh, cash payments it's going to go to the debit side but on the cash receipts remember we are posted into the credit side of the data control but when it's under the pay cash payment zone the figure that we're going to pick uh, we are going to uh, post it to the debit side of the uh, data control so we are going there uh, and uh, enter it uh, as well as bank, remember the cash receipts journal and cash payment journal is the representation of bank. So basically, what we are saying is, uh, in terms of details, information that we are picking from the uh, cash receipts and cash payment journal, uh, as we are narrating it in the details, uh, we are supposed to put as bank. Uh, remember the bank, uh, the bank account uh, records all our transaction, a cash transaction that is with, that, that are taking place uh, uh, and passing through the bank. So um. We are picking this 450 and we are going to the debit side of the data control. So if you come here, go to the debit side and we are saying bank on details. And uh, the amount uh, that we have there, remember, is 450. And remember, uh, we are we are taking this figure from the cash uh, payment journal. So we are saying CPJ under polio. And remember this one, uh, we took it from cash receipt journal, so it means under under folio also we are supposed to write as cash uh, receipts uh, journal. Uh, very important. So uh, we can just go there and try to pick another figure that is affecting our data control. So uh, we have picked from a cash payment journal, so it means uh, we are going next to see what we have. So beneath that, uh, we see that we have got the data journal. Uh, we are given the sales uh, figure is uh, 16,000. So uh, this is the total uh, figure for sales and it's, it's under the data journal. So what does it mean? Uh, if it's under the data journal, it means uh, it's a credit sale. Remember credit sales, we said we are supposed to post them uh, to the debit side of the data control. So uh, we are going to uh, post the 16,000 on the debit side. So if you come here, uh, we are now saying on the debit side, uh, we are saying sales. Uh, the sales figure, and we are taking it from the data journal. So here in folio, it is saying DJ uh, representing our data uh, journal. We have got sixteen thousand. We can go back to check on the next item. So um, we uh, believe that we have got the data allowance journal. Data allowance, uh, remember, we said these are returns. They are going to reduce the amount for credit sales. So we are going to the opposite side. That is credit side, and enter at the figure that we are having there, which is one thousand six hundred and. Uh, uh, eight eight. So um, we go there on the credit side, and obviously under details we are saying data allowance. Uh, data allowance.
and then on the uh, on the uh, folio we are saying we are taking this figure from data allowance total so we are saying daj and then the amount that we have is 1688 so uh, this is what we have and then we can just uh, try to go back again and check uh, any other that is affecting our data control so beneath that we now have the pet case journal so on the pet case journal we are also picking what is affecting our our data uh, our sorry our data control so if you come here you would see that our data control we have uh, sundry accounts that we have here uh, which is saying carriage on purchase was paid on behalf of the data which is 450 so it means uh, this is also affecting our our data control and uh, we are going to uh, pick it uh, there and uh, post it again to the uh, data control on the uh, on the debit side so remember these are carriage so they are going to increase the value for, for our sales for our debit sales so we are going to the debit side and enter it as 450. So we go there. Remember, we are taking that from the page cash journal. Uh, we are now here. So uh, we go to the debit side. We are saying um, these are our. This is uh, we are taking this one from the page cash journal. So we are just saying page cash. Uh, page cash. And then uh, here in this, uh, on folio, we are saying page cash drawdown, and then the amount that we have uh, is 450. Uh, 450. So this is uh, what we have. And then we can go back again, check uh, next what we have. And now we are going to the general journal. We see that we have got the data control, uh, debits, which is 150. Obviously, we are going to post it to the debit side. Which is 150, and then we've got data control again. The credit, which is supposed to go to the credit side of the data control, which is 200. So, uh, we are just going to pick down those figures as they are. As we go now to the data control, and just post them as uh, they are represented there. So, on the debit side, remember we have got our journal debits, uh, our journal debits, uh, and uh, we are taking this amount from the general journal, and uh. The amount that we have there is 150 and also we have another one uh that is our journal uh our journal dates uh, which are on the credit site and the amount is 200. so here uh we are saying journal this one is not journal uh, uh debits but it's journal debts uh representing our credit and then uh, we are taking the amount from the general journal again and then uh the amount that we have is 200. So uh, these are the uh, entries that we have. So if you go back, you see that this is the, these are the last items that we have uh, in the present. So it means we've exhausted all the items that are affecting our data control. Then from there now, we can balance our account. Uh, we can try to put our double lines. So uh, having done this now, remember if you get the total of the debit and the credit uh, the greater total should come in between the double lines both sides uh, so uh, if you add there you are going to see that the debit side is greater with a total of 37 uh, let's try to see let's try to get and find the correct total there so uh, if you add you are going to see that uh, the total uh, let's try to add again the total is going to be 32,225 32,225, so it's going to come both sides. And then we subtract uh, all items that we have on the credit side. That is sub subtract 200, uh, you subtract 1,788, you subtract 4,500. And then you are going to get your balance CD. And obviously, uh, the amount that you are supposed to get there is 26,837. So remember, this balance CD is also supposed to come on the opposite side below uh, the double lines. So here we are now saying our balance PD in amount of 32,000, uh, in amount of 32,225. So uh, this marks the end of our question. Uh, thank you for listening. Those who have subscribed, please subscribe and share. We'll meet again in the next video.